Hello and welcome everyone to Pokemon Leaf Green Nuzlocke. I am Annie. Uh, thank you all for watching. Thank you all for watching the uh, Twitch VOD as well as on YouTube. That is a Snorlax. Today we're going to fight said Snorlax and it's going to be a bloodbath today. How's everyone doing today? Welcome in. Uh, so yeah, go to the party. Welcome to Good Burger, home of the Good Burger. Can I take your order? Thank you for the follow. Uh, welcome in. So we're going to start fighting the Snorlax with uh, Hercules. My plan is to go into the battle and kind of lower Snorlax's attack. Because Snorlax is a beast. And I want to lower his attack as much as possible. Uh, so that it's not as threatening when we're trying to catch this thing. I do want to catch this Snorlax. So, without further ado, let's, uh, let's, uh, see what happens. Snorlax woke up. It attacked in a grumpy rage. Like, the only thing I'm worried about in this battle is crits. A wild Snorlax appeared. Okay. So we lowered uh, his attack, which is good. Which is what we wanted. I'm gonna try to paralyze him next. And he went to sleep. And he has a berry. With this pro strats right there. <laughs> That's the uh, the chesto rest. This guy sure loves going to sleep. <laughs> That's the, uh, the infamous chesto rest uh, strat. Okay, that didn't do that much damage. Okay, we're in a good position. Snorlax woke up. Uh huh. All right, let's secret power one more time, hoping for the paralysis. All right, let's try the great ball. Two, three. Crap. Okay, as long as he keeps snoring, we'll be fine. Just keep chucking balls. <laughs> Two. Chuck, chuck, chuck. Three. Got him. Yay. That went much better than I thought it would. And no one died. Very lazy. Just eats and sleeps. As its rotund bulk builds, it becomes steadily more slothful. Let us name uh, this uh, giant friend. And we're going to call him... Beast. All right, that was not a bloodbath. Huzzah! That was good. GGs. Also, the way is uh, clear for us. All right, let's go back to Lavender Town. So I don't know if uh, Nuzlocke rules prevent you from only having one Snorlax. 
I assume so, maybe. Or, uh, I think it's a dupe's clause, I think. Yeah, you can't capture the same Pokémon twice. So I think we're stuck with one Snorlax, if I remember correctly. As per, like, Nuzlocke rules. Alright, let's take a look at the beast. Uh, he's timid. Uh, what is timid nature? I'm just gonna look that up very quick. Uh, timid nature is... Less attack, but higher speed. Oh, so his attack suffers. That's kind of bad. Okay. Uh, by the way, we also got, uh, ya boy, Jolteon, in our party. Because, uh, last episode, we lost, uh, Kristen Stewart via Weepin' Bella. Yeah, Weepin' Bella died to a, uh, trolling Ghastly. So now, uh, we have Jolteon in the party. That was like our second death in this particular run, and like our third death overall. I think we can probably go to Fuchsia City now. I was debating on going to uh, Sylph Cove first, but... If we do Sylph Cove now, it might be more challenging. Well, you know what, Let, let's do it. Let's just uh, clear out uh, Sylph Cove and open up uh, Saffron City. You shouldn't spend all your money on drinks. Try this instead. Obtain the tea. The tea has been spilled. Nothing beats thirst like some hot tea. It really is the best. I am sponsored by Lipton. Me, on the other hand, I am not sponsored by anyone. I have been getting like offers for like sponsorships, but... The problem is, like, I don't really have the time to, uh give those games a try to merit, uh, sponsorships. That, and I'm still new to Twitch, so I don't really have, like, a huge, large, humongous, like, following. Like, I'm only starting still. Share the tea with other guards. Welcome to Saffron City. New Great Ball offers improved catching rates. Try it on those hard-to-catch Pokémon. I did, and can vouch. Trainers have scrolled their names on the sign. Uh, let's check the shop. See if there's anything we, we can buy. Oh, they do have full heals. Oh, I spent all my money on uh, fresh waters and soda pops just in case I needed them. Okay, doke. We'll just uh, go inside here then. Silfco. Oh, there's no one there. Hey, kid. What are you wondering here for? Team Rocket Grunt would like to battle. Go with the bats. And get paralyzed. How dare you. Okay, in terms of options, what we could do with, uh, if anyone else dies, uh, we do have, uh, people in the box. We have the Vulpix, we have the Ghastly, the Machop, and the Drowsy as well, and that Snorlax, but I think the lowered attack might be a factor, but unless we give it, like, a, a protein or something to kind of boost its attack, but 
Snorlax should be okay. Also, if we lose like our water Pokemon here, uh, there are options we could do like fishing rods as well. Uh, Leer. Uh, we won't do that. Plus, we have uh, routes 13, 14, and 15 for uh, extra Pokemon. Alright, we're going to heal you right up. Uh, where are you? So the next big challenge, I think, uh, moving forward, we uh, we finished the Snorlax, and the Snorlax was not that bad. So I think the next uh, big challenge is the rival battle here. And I think I want to clear Silphco, uh today. Uh, this is a bad matchup. I want to clear Silph Code today before we start uh, going to Fuchsia City. Because normally I just uh, go to Fuchsia after the uh, uh, Pokemon Tower. But I want to see how far I can go clearing Silph Code first. And then we'll go to uh, Fu uh, Fuchsia City. So the rival will have a level 40 starter. And a lot of his Pokemon are in the 35 to... Uh, 37 range so we should be fine it'll kind of give us like an additional challenge since we'll be like around level 35 or so and i want to try to evolve a uh, dragon into a charizard at this point as well so let's see let's go up the stairs Witnessing with us, kid. I'm not gonna step on the e teleport pads just yet. Needs a card key. I think that's on the fifth floor, I believe. I guess you you could uh, count today as kind of a grinding stream. Like we are going through like the story, but. There's just there's just a gauntlet of of uh, trainers all at once. Oh, I need a card key there too. And moving on up. Okay, fifth floor. Show Team Rocket a little respect. Huh. Honestly, I kind of feel that, uh, in terms of, like, ranking all the teams, Team Rocket's probably, like, eh. They're kind of low to mid-tier, like, threatening. But I think I have, like, the anime to blame for that, just because, uh, Jesse and James kind of, uh, ruin, like, the threatening vibe of, like, Team Rocket, since they're, they're just, like, so freaking goofy, like, all the time. Like, Team Rocket's what you kind of would consider, like, uh, the stereotypical, like, mob crime syndicate. And then, like, Team Rocket and Gold and Silver, like, they were more of the same thing, really. They weren't really as bad as compared to like other games. What? There shouldn't be any children here. Yeah, so Gens 1 and 2 uh, Team Rocket was honestly not that threatening. Things maybe just like a lack of police presence like in these cities to kind of do anything about Team Rocket.
Uh, whereas you have like uh, Ruby and Sapphire, uh, Team Magma and Team Aqua. Like those guys were a little more serious and threatening. Or hold on. Yeah, they were a lot more threatening compared to like Team Rocket because they were literally putting the world in danger. Like with their, uh, with their methods. Oh crap, you have that. Okay, we're going to use you. I forgot that was grass attack. But uh, Team Magma and Team Aqua's like threatening vibes like were a notch above Team Rocket just because uh, they were trying to summon literal gods like Pokemon to expand the land and put everyone in a drought. Whereas like on the other side of the coin you have a uh, Team uh, Aqua who just uh, flood the entire world in uh, endless rains and that was very serious. <laughs> That was very... that was, uh, pretty serious. Compared to, like, uh, the, uh, the mob boss syndicate just trying to, uh, extort Pokemon for money and all that. And then Team Galactic and, uh, Diamond and Pearl. What were they trying to do? I think they were trying to, like, reset the world, like, into nothingness, if I remember correctly. I think they explained it more in, like, uh, Pokemon Platinum. Like, Cyrus wanted to uh, revert the world to, like, nothingness, where just because, like, he's just so cold and emotionless that, uh, he wanted the entire world to feel nothing, just like him. Welcome to Good Burger, home of the Good Burger. Can I take your order? Uh, thank you for the follow. Yeah, and then, uh, Team Plasma. I think it's Team Plasma from, uh, Gen 5. Like, they were just a little, literal embodiment of, like, Pokemon PETA, where they just wanted to, uh, release everyone's Pokemon, and they were fucking hypocrites about it. Because they were still fighting with Pokemon. So kind of going, like, against their own, uh, their own motto and creed about that. Which I thought was pretty stupid, like as a team. But uh, Gen 5 games were really fucking good, though. Like, the Gen 5 games were like my top favorite Pokemon games in the series. Like, especially with uh, Black 2 and White 2. And then Team, F team Flare in Gen 6. Eh, we don't talk about Team Flare. <laughs> and Gen 6. Uh, let's dig. Yeah, it's been a while since I've played Gen 6, so I kind of don't remember like what uh, the motto was for uh, Team Flare. But I think uh, Lissandre wanted uh, the, the world to be more stylish or something, to do criminal activity activity while looking good? I honestly don't remember. Like those games were an afterthought. Like I had so many issues with uh, X and Y. And I think like that was the point where like I just started feeling like the games were kind of becoming a little more easier, but also kind of losing their impact in terms of like writing. Like, the whole AZ storyline was just... It just felt so underwhelming and left me wanting more, honestly. And they didn't really address... Like, that subplot of the of the story. And like, I feel they're gonna release Pokemon Z version, maybe, like, as a, uh, a remake in, in a few years. Like, if they do, like, the Nintendo Switch 2, they'll release, uh the remakes of X and Y. Uh, what am I doing? Uh, Elixir. You know what, let's just uh, switch out. But yeah, uh, Team Flare wanted to be more stylish. Well, 
unleashing like the gods of uh don't remember what uh Xerneas and Ivalto were about. Might have to play those again. Which, yeah, I will play those as a Nuzlocke again in due time. But uh, I forgot what uh, Xerneas and Ivalto did. Now, going into Gen 7, the uh, Aloha games, Sun and Moon. Sun and Moon were really good games. Like, I loved those. And there were two teams in that game. Uh, the Aether Foundation and Team Skull. And Team Skull were pro are probably the best uh, team, in my opinion, in the Pokemon series, just because of their meme quality. I really want to cosplay a Team uh, Skull member still. Like, I just like love the way they moved around and did funny movements. <laughs> but yeah, Team Skull is number one for me. Like, even though like they were a joke of a of a team, they still. They still had their appeal. And like the Aether Foundation was like all business in everything. Like I won't say much about uh, Sun and Moon, but like I really loved uh, X and Y. Or not X and Y, uh, Sun and Moon. It was a different kind of Pokemon game. And they were definitely in some of my uh, top uh, favorite games. Uh, you are in bad shape, so let's switch out. Uh, Rage. Also, uh, for the record, I have not played the, uh, the Switch game since uh, I don't have a Nintendo Switch. Uh, to... So I can't really judge what a uh, Sword and Shield or Scarlet and Violet are about. But people have said that those ones are pretty good despite uh, the glitches. But I think eventually I will play those at some point. I just need to get a uh, Nintendo Switch uh, for that. Okay, so if I jump here... Okay, this should be where the card key is. Yep, there it is. Alright, let's just uh, start opening doors. Ooh, focus punch. Protein. No thugs took over our building. Their boss said he was looking for strong Pokemon. I hope our president managed to avoid trouble. Okay, let's go to... Uh, hold on, there should be a... Yeah, there's a door right there. Team Rocket is in an uproar over some intruder. That's you, right? Could be. Excuse me, so just open the door and steal uh, this company's valuable and expensive uh, items that are just like lined on, lined on the floor. Escape rope. You know, for such a threatening criminal organization, Team Rocket sure does a bad job of like keeping their items on the floor in plain view to, just to get. You looked pissed off. Uh, 
you might self-destruct, so I'm going to switch. <laughs> Yeah, I don't want you to self-destruct. <laughs> Are you serious? That did not kill? Uh. Alright, just uh, slash him. Oh crap, I don't. Alright, we might have to go to the Pokemon Center. Uh, we'll keep going down floors until we're like on the first floor. And then we'll uh, heal up at the Pokemon Center and then switch uh, people around. Hyper Potion, nice. I support Team Rocket more than I support Silphco. You are fired. Keep going. Help, I'm a self employee. Uh, Ember. Let's heal up. Got him. Uh, wheezing. Let's switch out. Rage. Really getting sick of a uh, poison. Rick's sake. <laughs> uh, Mr. Beaky. Drug now, it should be fine. So, the difficulty definitely, since we're doing a. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Drug no, you beast. Thank you. Wow. That was close. That was so fucking close. Okay. Let's do this. Yep, you guys wanted a challenge, so here here it is. <laughs> it was a good idea to do this first. We're gonna keep on going. We're gonna keep on going.
Yeah, our party is in bad shape. <laughs> like, really bad shape. stop help oh you're now with team rocket will you forgive me if i teach them yes oh uh, let's not let's not let's not uh, i'll come right back so i think i missed uh, a learning thunder wave with uh uh yeah boy i was getting very close to uh to editing my uh my vod layout and just remove a uh, Charmeleon from uh, the party. How many rare candies do I have? I might just evolve a uh, Charizard now. Uh, rare candy. Okay, I have two. So I can't, uh, it's not enough just yet. Yeah, it might be a good idea to uh, get Charizard now. I am one of the four Rocket Brothers. Ah, uh, break, break. Okay, that did neutral damage. We really need a better move than Ember. Machoke. Kind of nervous, so let's switch. Pekka, Mr. Beaky. Okay. There's your death. Uh, that was neutral damage. Because he was also normal type. Damn it. Well, there we go. Things are getting interesting. Bye, uh, Firo. I should have flew. So we have another death in our family, and Mr. Beaky has succumbed to death. He didn't even learn Drill Peck. Damn it. We must uh, retire Mr. Beaky into greener pastures. So a moment of silence for uh, Mr. Beaky. May he live on in Final Fantasy XIV. <laughs> in the arms of the angel. Bye, Mr. Beaky. But it is time to unleash the beast. So we got one death uh, in our party. Now we got the beast. Who thankfully uh, is leveled up with uh, everyone here. Damn it, that really sucks though. Oh, uh, let's uh, let's give the beast uh, the protein. So 
69. Nice. Oh, let's heal, uh, Charmeleon. I am definitely leveling up, uh, Charizard. Do a Charizard. I don't want to take any chances in case we I lose my, uh, my starter. That rotten president serves him right for shipping me off to the Tiki branch. That's why Team Rocket came after us, I'm sure of it. What the hell is a Tiki branch? We're so close to 34. Oh, for fuck's sake. Stop paralyzing my Pokemon. Karate Chop. Come on, hit the ball. Uh, Magneton. I don't think Magneton will self-destruct. Alright, let's heal your paralysis. And I think we'll be fine with, uh... Oh, for... Just, uh... Come on. Awesome. We're gonna heal again. You know what? Do I have four heals? I do. I do. I have one. Alright, die already. Flamethrower, nice. That'll uh that'll definitely help. Get rid of Ember. Alright, burn them all down. Yeah, I'm still uh, saddened by Mr. Beaky dying. It was that one split second moment where like, uh, no oh, damn, his fighting move uh, hits neutral damage against us. Like it's not resisted against uh, flying types since uh, Fero is also half a uh, normal type. Okay, I think we have enough for one more level and then I'll use the uh, rare candy. HP up. X special. You dare betray Team Rocket. And I think what I'm gonna do for the uh, the rival battle is I'm going to uh, get Shadow Ball on Snorlax and we'll uh, we'll destroy uh, his Alakazam. His Alakazam is really dangerous. Flamethrower is doing work, which I'm thankful for. Also, we have the uh, Safari Zone too, 
So our thing, there are things there we can look into getting. Okay, finally. It is time. I am not gonna wait. It is time for Drogno to become no dragon. <laughs> okay, 71, 71. It is time to unleash your fury. He has arrived. Dragno is trying to learn wing attack. I let's not. I'm gonna teach you fly instead. Okay, let's uh let's teach uh Charizard fly. Since we lost our flyer already. Okay. Uh, let's get rid of Metal Claw since uh we don't need that anymore. Okay, perfect. Also, let me teach uh, Snorlax some other moves. I did get this as a last resort. We're going to use this on the beast. Go away, rest. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, secret power. Uh, he'll get stabbed with this. 70. Oh, well, uh... Okay, never mind. Yeah, it's the same, uh, base power. Same uh, base power and step, so he'll be fine with uh, dark. Okay. And then let's heal uh, Swine Fu's paralysis. Alright, let's continue. I think now I'm playing more uh, conservatively just because uh, we're kind of in a danger area where I don't want anyone else to die. Whereas like when I was doing like my normal grinding, uh, all the enemies were like lower level than this and they weren't fully evolved so I have to watch my back now since uh, these guys are using evolved Pokemon now. Uh, let's go back to floor two, since I was supposed to do something on uh, floor two. I think it's floor two. All right, let's go down. Yeah, it's this floor. Okay. Yeah, we want to talk to you. Will you forgive me if I teach the Thunder Wave? Yes. I think we've hit the, we've hit past the point where uh, Jolteon can learn Thunder Wave. Uh, yeah, I guess. Thunder Wave causes paralysis. Yep. And let's go back to the seventh floor. Hard key opens the door. It's really dangerous here. Can you save me? You can't. Watch me. We bet if Team Rocket took over Slow Thunder Pokemon. Team Rocket was after the Master Ball. It catches any Pokemon. Oh, okay. And that's why they're here. And that's why they're not like really confiscate. Confiscate, 
confiscating like any of the items that I'm finding. They just want the one master ball. This is a uh, Pokemon poison. It's not leaf green. It's Pokemon poison because everyone is getting freaking poisoned. I have not had this much bad luck with poison ever in my Pokemon playing experience, and that is a long time. Like whereas like other games I played, I only use maybe like five antidotes max in my playthroughs. So it's kind of eye-opening that I'm using so much so many antidotes at once. I think that was the last brother. Yeah, that was a final brother. Okay, much needed. You look tired. You should take a quick nap. Thank you. Your Pokemon seem to adore you, kid. Oh, yeah. There's a heal right here. Don't give up. I think the scientists in this building are probably the worst ones. Uh, just because uh, they have a uh, psychic and... Oh, I should have switched out. It's because they have psychic Pokemon mainly, and electric types. Uh, Magneton... Uh, switch to you. Good stats. All right, another level up. Okay, that was a good battle. We leveled up a little bit. Okay, so I think we'll be fine in the rival battle. Because I think uh, the rival battle, the only dangerous part will be the uh, the Alakazam and his uh, his starter. But thankfully, we have Hyper Beam for that. I'm gonna heal again. Yeah, that's a scientist. Let's fight the rocket instead. Welcome to the 10th floor. So good of you to join me. Okay, so this thing has no guards, so it's gonna hit regardless. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Uh, 43. So another shockwave should kill this thing. Okay, good. 
Okay. That was dangerous. <laughs> I forgot what Vital Throw does. I think it probably doubles to damage. If it's attacked, uh, if the, the Pokemon is attacked as well. So that wasn't bad. Arbos. Rare Candy. And Earthquake. Aw. Earthquake, the Earthquake TM was right there. Uh, but they moved it uh, somewhere else. Wow, I'm scared. I'm not going to fight the scientist just yet. I'll fight uh, the last rocket here. It's weird that they, they uh, put this rocket here. Because there's like nothing on this floor. Uh, from this side. Okay, we'll fight the, uh, the scientist down there. Enough of your silly games. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the fighting dojo outside of uh, Saffron to get a uh, level for uh, ya boy. Because there are extra trainers there. Alright. Strange that the uh, the fighting dojo is open and not the, uh, the saffron gym. Like Sabrina's Pokemon are much much stronger and can destroy the uh, the fighting Pokemon. So like, why can't the Sabrina just drop on by and just psychic like all of the rockets here since they're using mainly like poison Pokemon? Don't be defiant or I'll have to hurt you. Well, bring it on. I'm right here. Okay, I haven't saved in a while, so let's do this. I'm gonna cheat and avoid the double battle. Switch actually. Trespassing in our fighting dojo. Okay, one more. 
Uh, let's sand attack you. Just to drop your accuracy. Okay, and then we'll heal up. Ah, crap. And attack again. That should not raise his attack. Yeah, so as long as I keep doing this, uh, we should be fine. Okay, one more. Alright, excellent. Okay, back to uh, Gyarados. Gyarados should be fine since uh, Gyarados has a lot of bulk uh, to him. Should be fine here, too. Uh -huh. Yeah, get wrecked. Shattered boulders for training every day. Hoo ha. Oh, level thirty six. Not this time. Yeah, get wrecked. It's a good experience. Stumped fingers. Wish to challenge us, expect no mercy. I didn't realize, like, he could, uh, select you like that, or like, uh, run into you like that. Okay. It should not be bad. Okay, as long as we cut his attack. Yeah, three hit this one. Okay, this one special is not that bad, so we should survive a Thunder Punch. Maybe. Okay, we're gonna switch regardless. 
Okay, that guy has Sky Uppercut. Uh, I'm gonna heal and see what uh, he does. See how much uh, Thunder Punch does. Okay, so that does uh, 32 damage. Uh, secret power. Okay, that was a crit. That did nothing. I'm gonna heal again. Oh. <laughs> I did not expect that. Okay, I don't want to use Sky Uppercut. With, uh... This might be a rip, or... I don't want to lose experience, though. We might have to go into you. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> That's wonderful. That was not what I... <laughs> okay, paralyzed. Good. There's a thunder punch. That battle was uh, crazy. Okay, there's a level up. Ah, beaten. Indeed, I have lost, but I beseech you, do not take our emblem as your trophy. In return, I will give you a prized fighting Pokemon. Choose whichever one you like. I know what I'm picking. Yep. Because Hitmochan sucks in this generation. Uh, yes. Uh, this is our encounter in uh, Saffron City. Yeah, uh, because uh, there's two encounters. Uh, the Hitmon and then Lapras. So I probably can't uh, select Lapras anymore. And plus there's tons of other water, water Pokemon we could find uh, fishing, so... It's perfectly fine if we can't uh, get a... Uh, uh, water type here. Uh, Hitmonlee, the Kicking Fiend. We're gonna call you... Uh, let's keep it old school and just call you Bruce. Uh, pretty straightforward, pretty simple. Wait, did I name uh, the Hitmon? I could have sworn I did. Uh, let's keep it old school and just call you Bruce. Uh, pretty straightforward, pretty simple. Well, let me check. Okay, I did. I did name a uh, him only. The next thing is a rival battle. And then uh, Giovanni. Okay, I think we're ready. It might be difficult, but we'll, we'll, uh, we'll just go in and see what happens. Go up here, and then here we are. All right, but first let's change the uh, animation. There we go. Uh, we're gonna switch our Pokemon here to uh, Sand Slash, and then we're gonna save. This is like the next big uh, checkpoint that we could uh, measure how strong we are. With Capgiani. Haha, <laughs> I thought you'd turn up if I waited here. I guess Team Rocket slowed you down. Not that I care. I saw you in Saffron, so I decided to see if you got better. And aw, you were waiting for me. That was cute. Stinky. 
Okay, rock slide. Okay, that was... Uh, of course you missed. Excellent. You got a heal already. Uh, okay. Uh, let's sand attack. Ah, oh, crap. That's right. I forgot. Okay, live and learn. Okay, we'll just keep going with, uh, uh, Raka slides. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Heal again. Uh, slash. Okay, one down. Uh, blasters. Okay. So we should be faster than Blastoise. We're just gonna sand attack. Just a uh, sand attack six times and then. Uh, we're gonna heal after this. Yep. Okay, yes, protect. Uh, Thunder Wave. Okay, good. Uh, Shock Wave. Damn it. <laughs> well, that's fine. We'll just uh, keep doing it. He wastes his turn anyway. Okay, so he has Water Gun Protect. Alright, excellent. Alright, two down. And that was the strongest one. Uh, Growlithe. Okay, we should be fine with water pulses. She's level 38. Alright. Water pulse. It shouldn't hurt. Yeah, it does nothing. And I think he has an execute after this. Yeah, he has an execute. Alright, Drakno, you know what to do. Uh, flamethrower. Burn it. Burn the eggs. Alakazam. Alright, the beast, it's your time. Crap. That's not the one I wanted. <laughs> 
Okay. Hyper Beam. Destroy this glass cannon. And, uh, GG. You still suck. Yeah, that was a mistake on my part. <laughs> I really wanted to do Hyper Beam first, but... Well, Annie, I'm moving on up ahead. By checking my Pokedex, I'm starting to see what's strong and how they evolve. Am I a genius or what? I'm going to the Pokemon League to boot out the Elite Four. I'll become the world's most powerful trainer. Well, good luck to you. Don't sweat it. Smell ya. I kill me. God, what an annoying piece of garbage. <laughs> Okay, so we did well. That wasn't, uh, that wasn't that bad. Okay, and I think we'll be fine here. Yeah, we should just, uh, finish up with, uh, Giovanni. Let's go move this up. Stop right there, don't you move. I will go into like rival. Uh, in terms of like rivals, which one's my favorites? Like afterwards, once we uh, finish uh, Giovanni. I won't be doing uh, Sabrina's fight until like later on. Cause like I, f I still feel with psychic Pokemon, we're still uh, no match for uh, Sabrina. Oh, let's bite. Oh, you have psychic. No, well, it does nothing. <laughs> So one more fight, and then we'll be done. Okay, so we still need two more levels from uh, Hercules. Ah, Annie. So we meet again. The president and I were just discussing a vital business proposition. Keep your nose out of grown-up grown -up matters. Or experience a world of pain. Uh, secret power. Poison. Oh. <laughs> Rhyhorn. Should be fine with a Water Pulse. This should hopefully kill.
Okay, Kangaskhan. Let's switch out here and switch to a, a more defensive Pokemon. And then we'll switch right out again. Go to Gyarados. To uh, lower Kangaskhan's attack. That did nothing. Okay, we'll try uh, Dragon Rage. Thankfully, Hyper Potions. We got those. Why is it your Mega Punches hit while mine's miss all the time? There we go. Perfect. Oh, let's flinch. Oh, you have Rage. Jeez, that was 40 uh, hit points. Still survived that. Alright, Needle Queen. Uh, Water Pulse. Oh, that was a crit. Don't like that you're lowering my defense. Yolo, we're, we're fine. Or apparently not. Okay, that's fine. Fine then, have it your way. Thankfully we have uh, fishing rods. Hyper Beam. Goodbye. Uh. <laughs> Goodbye, Hercules. I shall return. Looks like we have another uh, Pokemon to train. <laughs> oh dear boy, thank you for saving Sylph. I will not forget you, you saved us in a moment of peril. I have to thank you in some way. As I am rich, I can give you anything. Yeah, maybe this will do. I will not be using that. You can't buy that anywhere. It's our secret prototype Master Ball. It will catch any Pokemon without fail. You should be quiet about using it, though. Okay. Yeah, thank you for... for that, I guess. <laughs> I'm stunned. I'm, I'm honestly stunned. But I think I was too stubborn, too, because I kept a... Hercules in. Uh, I should have switched, but... Eh. So that's uh, two deaths in uh, in one, uh, one video. <laughs> so we must uh, say goodbye to Hercules. And with that, let's have a moment of silence for Hercules. Oh, 
Okay. That sucked. Alright, so what do we do now? So we don't have any other water types, but... We can fish for water types, thankfully. So let's uh, get Meowth in our party. I am not fighting Sabrina because, hell no. We're going to put uh, Meowth back in the party. Uh, we'll fight Sabrina in the next, uh, in the next uh, stream. Because we need to get some levels on uh, the beast. Okay, since we have Charizard, we can fly now. So let's fly. Okay, and we want to get the, uh, the Super Rod. So the Super Rod can be found on this route. And we cleared the area already with the, uh, with the Snorlax. Okay, let me just uh, take a, a moment to rearrange everything. Okay, we're back. So I think it's time to get some uh, water Pokemon. I'm the fishing guru's younger brother. I simply love fishing. I can't bear to go without. Tell me, do you like to fish? We sure do. I like your style. I think we can be friends. Take this and fish, young Padawan. Super Rod. Fishing is a way of life. It's like the finest poetry. It's like, it rhymes, like it's, po it's poetry. It's like poetry, it rhymes. In the seas and rivers, go out and land the big one, my friend. Now I have a request. If you catch a big magic carp with that rod, I want to see it. As much as I love to fish, I also love seeing gigantic magic carp. Well, about that, it's kind of too late already. Okay. So, we have the fishing rod. So I think, uh, let us, uh, fish for... A new friend. Oops. Probably select this. Register this. So I'm going to do a one fish uh, per route. Alright, what do we got? A Krabby. Dun 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 dun. Okay, let's see. Uh, headbutt. Oh, you're faster. And that was a crit. <laughs> and got him. Dung, da -dung, dung, dung. Uh, we're gonna call you, even though you're uh, a girl, uh, Krabby. We're gonna call you Cisco. And it sound, kind of sounds like your cry kind of says, dong, da dong, dong, dong. I am old. Okay, so this was our encounter uh, for this route. All right, let's fly to uh, Pallet Town since we haven't. Uh... Oh wait, I think we could fish. Uh... 
here. Yeah, we could fish here. Should be fine. Because I looked up the uh, Nuzlocke rules, and they don't have, like, any specific rules for, like, fishing, so we should be okay. But uh, I do want to implement, like, one Pokemon uh, per uh, city. So I'm going to stick to that. So I'm going to catch a bunch of uh, water Pokemon while we're here. We'll try this like two more times. Okay. This works. Okay, we'll uh we'll we'll take this. Aw. Okay, we'll do yawn. And then we'll uh, we'll headbutt it. We shouldn't be able to kill it outright. We should not be able to kill it. I should just uh, shut up. Viridian City. We're on the road to Viridian City. That was close. Alright, great ball. Okay, Poliwhirl. Pretty nice. Uh, we will call you... Uh, let's just go with the simple names. Since uh, I can't think of anything. Uh, Lily. Yeah, let's call you Lily. And I believe there is water here. Yeah. Let's go on up. Okay, so. Route 22. Oh, there's water in the, uh, Pokemon area. So, we'll fish, uh... Since we have, uh, the number of badges, we'll just, uh... Fish up here. That's a boulder badge. We'll see what we get up here. So let's fish. And I don't think Pewter City has water. Yeah, Pewter City does not have water. Okay, we have you already. Uh, so that's how it's gonna be, huh? Okay then, have it your way. Hyper Beam. Get 
destroyed. And a critical. Nice. I should probably switch up my, uh, my Pokemon. Uh, let's put... ...you in the party. And then, you have an item. Rare candy. Awesome. Okay, we already have a Poliwhirl. And that was quick. We, uh, have you already. Rest in peace. Can you just imagine, like, how terrifying it would be if you were fishing and you actually fish up a Gyarados? Like, how horrific that would be. <laughs> like a full-on, like, 30-foot-tall Gyarados. Uh... Dupes claws, I can't, uh... I can't, uh... Catch this. Okay, so I think, uh... Oh, crap. Well, let's see. I'm actually gonna look this up, actually. So, give me one second. Okay, since technically we didn't have the, uh, the Poliwag, it wasn't in our Pokedex, so that counted as our first encounter, so we can't really fight this, uh, Slowpoke. Uh, which is fine. We'll just, uh, fly somewhere else. Uh, let me check the Pokedex, actually. See where, uh, Staryu can be found. Pokemon. Alright, next data. Oh, it can be found in uh, Vermilion. Okay. We've not caught anything in Vermilion. Okay, this is perfect. Let's uh, fish here. There it is. Now, do not kill it. Or you know what? I'm gonna throw... I'm gonna throw an Ultra Ball. Just to Hail Mary it. Got it. Okay, nice. We got it. I know what I'm naming you. It's Haya. All right, let's get Haya into our party. Now let's fly to Lavender Town. Oops. Let's take this. Wait, we have to start leveling up uh, Snorlax as well. Hello and welcome back to Pokemon Leaf Green Nuzlocke. I am still mourning uh, our deaths today. <laughs> we are back again. Oh god, that was rough. <laughs> yeah, that death really uh, took out a lot of my energy. So we have uh, Staryu in the party. Yeah. It's a calm nature. That might be beneficial. Actually. I don't know. But uh, we'll see. I will train this Pokemon... Uh, for the next stream. Afterwards. I don't think I'm gonna be able to do it in time unless like I do a lot of uh, boring, like, VS Seekering around. And plus, I wanna get the, uh, the Surf HM. Uh, today. 
So what we will do instead is uh, go down this road and we'll uh, fight a bunch of trainers and uh, talk about stuff. Kind of take our minds off of the uh, the rough uh, deaths that we've endured today. So uh, let's do that. And plus, uh, I'm not w as worried uh, with the uh, the Snorlax, even though like its attack is reduced. But I think we'll be fine since it's a uh, it's a Snorlax. It's bulky and it has other uses. So I think we'll be fine. I think this will be our final party, going into the Elite Four. Hopefully. <sighs> I swear, like, I... I was holding my breath, hoping that... I was nervous, like, when they self-destructed. But, because I'm a wuss, I'm gonna heal, just in case. Self-destruct. Yeah, screw you. I am not losing another Pokemon. Yeah, hell no. Ain't no way. Hey, okay, let's dig. I hate electric Pokemon so much. <laughs> Also, with uh, Staryu in the party, this will be a good uh, thing to have uh, more special attackers. Uh, Swift. I think we'll be fine with... Uh, or hold on. Right, Slash is... Uh, not stab. Why not? Let's let's go for it. I do want to hit uh, an all hitting move with uh, Dance Slash. That'll be useful. My Slash is just a uh, crits, and I think uh, Swift will be much more useful. So as I was saying, uh, we still have a large attack. Like Snorlax has a base seventy one attack at this rate, so we should be okay. And it has good, good uh, special defense, so it it has good bulk and HP. So I think we'll be okay. Let's open this. I'm searching for a moonstone. Have you found one? Okay, we're back. Oops. Gotta remember to put the game on. Okay, I got what I wanted. I'm happy. I got my healing items. So we're back, and let's resume. What's catching? You'll never know what you could catch. I'm gonna make all the fishermen uh, talk like Hank Hill, by the way. I'll have Magikarp and Magikarp accessories. That Magikarp ain't right, I tell you what. That boy ain't right. I gave up a life of propane for the life of a fisherman. Let me tell you what, fishing has been my goal from the beginning. I wonder if Hank Hill's gonna retire and be a fisherman. Like, he'll still use propane, but he will, uh, he'll be interested in fishing. I think there were a few King of the Hill episodes, actually, where, uh, Hank was, was, uh, fishing. So I think he does like fishing, if I remember correctly. Okay, so Snorlax can't learn Thief. So this is a new route. Welcome to Good Burger, home of the Good Burger. Can I take your order? Uh, thank you for the follow. Thank you very much. Welcome in. 
Uh, we already caught this before, so we can just run away from it. Uh, we don't have a Venonat. Okay. I'm kind of afraid of this, uh, of Headbutt, like, killing this thing. So I might just throw a ball instead. Darn it. Uh, we'll try another Great Ball. One, two, three. Okay, got it. GG. Okay, we have a Lady Venomat. What shall we call this one? Thinking of a name. I don't know, let's just uh, call uh, her Fergie. I don't know, just like out of the blue, random name. <laughs> I don't know, I got nothing. <laughs> like, it's almost 9pm, like, my creative juices are not at the best right now. I found Carbos in a cave once while I was spelunking. Good for you. Uh, so anyway, Pokemon Rivals. I did say I wanted to, uh, to, uh, wanted to talk about uh, Pokemon Rivals. So, uh, the rival in this generation, or uh, this, uh, remake. Uh, Stinky, aka Blue. Not my favorite rival. Like, he encompasses that douchebag, like, jock, uh, uh -huh, I'm better than you, smell you later, like, that kind of annoying vibe. And they really pile it on in the anime. He's like, hey, hey Ash, I have ten badges already. I have a whole, uh, convertible with a bunch of, uh, cheerleaders, and what do you have? Like, this guy in this game, and Gen 1, like, he encompasses that douchebaggery that I kinda like. But, like, he's still not, not, like, my favorite rival of, uh, out of, like, all the rivals. Like, his team is very exploitable, and what I mean by that is, uh, they, uh, they have weaknesses that can be exploited pretty, pretty easily. Like, compared to, like, other, uh, like, champions like Cynthia, who has a very diverse, but still very powerful, each on their own, like, uh, party members. Like, Milotic has bulk, uh, Garchomp has power. Uh, Spiritomb has, like, zero weaknesses, and it's bulky. Meanwhile, like, uh, Blue, he just has Pokemon that can be exploited, like, by one type. Like, you can just surf his Arcanine to death. You could burn his Exeggutor. You could, like, Hyper Beam and overpower his Alakazam, like, easily. And you could surf his Rhydon. So, in my opinion, he's probably one of the weaker rivals, despite being, like, one of the more notorious ones. So, Gen 2... The, uh, the rare ha red-haired guy. Like, I don't know his official kind of name. Like, I don't think it's Barry, because I think Barry is uh, the Gen 4 rival. But uh, the, the red-haired passerby boy, like, his story is a lot more interesting than uh, Blue's, to be honest. Because, like, this kid is, spoiler alert, the son of a well-known uh, mob boss and villain in this game. And, uh, he, uh... And I really wish that Heart Gold and Soul Silver like, gave us that, uh, that event that triggered, so you could see the cutscene with, uh, uh, his father and him. Because it gives him, like, a ton of character development as well. And we kind of see, like, his character development develop throughout the entirety of, uh, Gold and Silver. And, uh, Heart Gold and Soul Silver. He's definitely up there as one of my favorite rivals in the Pokemon games. And I'm paralyzed. Nice. 
the uh, the Gen 3 rival, uh, which is May or Brandon, probably one of the weaker ones. Like, pretty in the bottom of the list, just because uh, the rivals for Ruby and Sapphire, like, they're your friends, like, they're your neighbors, and not really interesting enough uh, as characters to, uh, to really be like a threat to you, to really push you as the, the main character. Like, they support you, like, they're more like supportive rivals, which are, in my opinion, not as, like, interesting, but, uh, like, they're just there. And I think in Gen 3 too, like, the rivals, the rival battles are probably some of the weaker ones, because, uh, they don't have, like, a full six-on-six -six party with, uh, with you. Now, there is another rival in, uh, in, uh, Gen 3, which is Wally. Wally, I think, is by far probably the more interesting rival uh, in the game. And now that I think about it, yeah, like, he is the rival of uh, Gen 3. Like, I take it back, though. Like, uh, your neighbors are not the rival of the game. It's really Wally. Yeah, that's right. It's Wally. Uh, body slam. Let's learn that. Uh, so yeah, Wally is uh, much more interesting. We got what I say is on par with uh, the red-haired kid. Uh, probably not, honestly. Maybe like a tad below uh, the red-haired rival. Like his story is pretty nice, though. Like he's a sick kid who wanted to go out and discover Pokemon for the first time, so he catches a Ralts, and it's his partner. And we see his development throughout uh, Gen 3. So uh, Wally is interesting, but like... Like, he is a good rival, but like, he's not like my top favorite. So, uh, Barry in Gen 4... That's not gonna hurt. Barry in Gen 4 is uh, pretty interesting too, like he is... I wouldn't say like he gets a lot of character development. Uh, there are, but he's more heavily involved in that uh, in uh, Diamond and Pearl and Platinum than uh, than any of the other rivals, just because uh, when you're trying to like to exploit uh, Team Galactic, like he gets involved like with the, uh, the commanders and like they kind of belittle him and mock his self confidence. And, like, he tries to get his confidence back uh, by uh, helping you get rid of uh, Team Galactic. Like, he's very interesting. Like, he's very hyperactive, too. Like, I really like that about him. So, like, he's one of the more interesting rivals, uh, for sure. And like, definitely up there in my, uh, my top five. Okay... I think we're running out of a uh, headbutt PP again. Okay, we'll stay in. Probably move this uh, here. Okay, so Gen 5, my favorite generation. So it's kind of a tale of uh, two games actually in Gen 5. Uh, black and white. Probably has my favorite rivals uh, overall in Gen 5. Like, Bianca and Sharon are really interesting characters and really see like their development and their journey as they become like competent adults uh, in Black 2 and Y2. Like, I think Sharon wants to, uh, if I remember correctly, he wants uh, to understand Pokemon more. It's been a while since I have played uh, Black and White. And, uh, yeah, Sharon and Bianca are great. Are really great. And I like the fact that you get two rivals with two, uh, uh six Pokemon party teams uh, to fight uh, throughout the game. Uh, red haired rival is named Silver. Okay. Uh, thank you for clarifying, uh, Eye Patch, and welcome in. 
Yeah, I'll probably just uh, call him Silver. As an item here. Yep, PP up. Okay, how are we doing? Okay, two more levels. But uh, yeah, throughout uh, Black and White, Bianca and Sharon really are really supportive rivals to you, but they're also like very powerful and strong uh, characters as well. Like, I like characters like that, and uh, it's probably like why Black and White and just Gen 5 in particular are my favorite gen. Like, I know like a lot of people have like their complaints of like Gen 5 just being a, a clone of like of a Gen 1 Pokemon. Like, I do agree that there are similarities between uh, Gen 1 Pokemon and Gen 5 Pokemon. But, like, I still enjoy the story of uh, Gen 5 uh, the most. And then you have, like, Black 2 and White 2, where uh, the story is completely different. And then you have a new rival, which is, uh, uh what's that guy's name? Well, the rival in uh, in uh, Black 2 and Y2, like, he's a lot more interesting as well. Like, his path is set, like, on vengeance to get revenge on uh, Team Plasma for uh, kidnapping... I think it's his sister. Yeah, his sister's uh, Purloin. And that was, like, a big focal point of uh, Black 2 and Y2. And this guy just goes to aggressive me methods to... Uh, get back at uh, Team Plasma, which I thought was interesting. Like, we have, like, a headstrong rival that chooses violence, like, just to, uh, save the name of his sister. Okay, one more level. And then you have, uh, the Gen 6 rivals, and there's, like, a lot of them. There's, like, four characters. <laughs> That are like considered your rival. And like the one main rival. Honestly, I don't remember much from uh, Gen 6 since I haven't played uh, Pokemon X in like a long time. But uh, I don't think there's really anything noteworthy of uh, Gen 6 in particular. Like I really need to play uh, that generation again. But I just remember you having like a lot of rivals. Uh, AKA friends. Like they're friend rivals. Like, in the good sense. Like, one of them loves to dance, another one's really smart. There's the girl, and... There is, uh... I think, like, your main rival as well. And then for uh, Gen 7, Alola, uh, Sun and Moon... I don't, know, I don't know if I would consider Lily, like, your rival. Like, she's a great character, like, one of my favorite characters in all of Pokémon. Like, I love Lily. And Nebby as well. Nebby, get in the bag! I think the neighbor, or the, the rival in Sunny Moon was named, uh, Howl. H-A-W. Uh, Serena is technically the main rival of six. Okay. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I think the rival's name is, uh, Owl. H-A-W-H-A-U in, uh, Sun and Moon. Like, correct me if you know. Like, he was, he was, uh, he was alright, like, he was very, like, happy-go-lucky. Like, I have no complaints, really, for, uh, for him. I am excited, though, just, uh, because I'll get to play those games again on a, on a Nuzlocke basis. Yeah, that's how. Okay, uh, thank you very much. I think, like, out of all the friendly rivals in the game, I think I like how, like, the most. Although the champion is a professor. Uh, yeah, yeah. 
Like, Sun and Moon has a lot of uh, great... Uh, has a wonderful story. And uh, they just do things a lot differently compared to, like, other Pokemon games, which I really like. Because typically, like, the Pokemon games kind of get a little bit stagnant. Like, if they're just doing, like, the same thing, like, all over again. Like, I'm glad that, uh... I think starting from, like, Gen 5, they do something different with uh, the stories in these games. Yeah, speaking of champions, uh... We'll probably go over, uh, champions. Like, as I said earlier, like, the champions in, uh... Uh, Blue as the champion in this game, like... A lot of his Pokémon can be easily exploited, like, with, uh... Single weaknesses. So, like, he's not the... The best. But, like, he's, like, the most notorious in terms of, like, Pokémon. Because it was the first gen. And he was, uh, the first, uh, rival champion. And I like that, uh... With uh, Gen 2, they incorporated Lance as, like, the main champion with uh, his dragons. Like, even though his uh, his party is illegal, technically. Like, how do you have three Dragonites at levels 47, 47, and 50 as full Dragonites? Unless he caught those Dragonites. Like, those cannot be the same, uh, Dragonites from, uh, uh, Red, Blue, and Yellow. But I think they just do that just to scale down the difficulty of where you are in the game. Like, as the, uh, the obvious reason. It's still kind of funny just because, uh, he has, like, three lower-level Dragonites. Like, his battle is tough, though. Uh, regardless, and I do like uh, the battle theme in uh, the champion battle theme for uh, Gen 2 and uh, the red battle. And I think you could also count uh, red as, all, as a champion as well. Like, he's the champion battle uh, in the second half of uh, uh, Gold and Silver and Heart Gold and Soul Silver. And, like, his team is. Kind of the same thing, like, it's easily exploitable, like, with, uh, the single types. It's just, like, their levels are higher. But it's still a lot of fun, like, I still love that battle. And we're poisoned again. Let's just call this game, like, the Poison Lock instead of a Nuzlocke. Let's get poisoned, like, all the freaking time. Uh, so I think the plan today is, uh, we'll go to Fuchsia City, and then I think we'll do the Safari Zone just so I can get the, uh, the Surf, uh, HM. And then I think we'll, uh, wrap up for, uh, this week. Okay, in terms of, uh, Gen 3, uh, for the champions, I do think that, uh, Emerald, Emerald, uh, is really good, but, uh, Steven in Ruby and Sapphire still, still takes it as, like, the best rival, uh, for that generation. Like, nothing against Wallace, but, uh, Wallace's team is pretty, uh, pretty good, but it could still be, uh, exploitable if you have, like, a good, uh, grass or electric Pokemon. Like, Steven's team is just, uh, iconic. And, like, I felt it was more, uh, difficult compared to, like, uh, what Wallace had. Like, I do like the rest of the changes, uh, in Pokemon Emerald. Like, I do like that, uh, Juan is the, the gym leader of, uh, Sutopolis, and he's, like, uh, Wallace's, like, mentor. Kind of adds like a bit of a story to uh to Wallace as well as the champion.
But uh, Steven is really, really busted. Like, really, really good. Okay, I think that's uh, the level up we needed. Okay, 30... Yeah. Okay, so let's train uh, Charizard again. And then we come to uh, Cynthia. Cynthia is just memorable, like iconic, and by far my favorite uh, champion out of uh, all of them. Like, what else can you say about Cynthia? Like, a very diverse team. She's really badass and awesome, and I love Cynthia. <laughs> and again, that Garchomp just destroys you. And I can't wait to play uh, the Nuzlocke for that one. I'm gonna get so destroyed. <laughs> so I think there are two rivals. Or not two rivals. Two... Actually, there's three champions. Uh, N, Gestus, and Ad Alder. Yeah, I think it's Alder. I think uh, Gestus was probably the hardest one uh, of that game. Because I think uh, he used a lot of uh, cheating like tactics, like with stuns and like trolling moves as well. Like both of the both of those battles were really good though. Like N and Getsis as well. I think like Alder like Aldar. The red haired uh, champion guy, like with the long hair. Like he Like his battle was pretty uh, straightforward. Like there weren't like any gimmicks or it wasn't as memorable compared to like uh the other two. And then uh, Black 2 and White 2, uh, the champion was Iris. Uh, she was cute. Like, she had a she had a very uh, straightforward par party. Like, a very interesting uh, party. Like, I like the fact that uh, she was with you throughout, like, a lot of the game. And uh, Black 2 and White 2 is kind of, like, like, leading you on. Or not leading you on, like, cheering for you. And like she turned out to be uh, the champion. And uh, her battle music was really good as well. Like I really like uh, the battle music for uh, the champions for uh, Pokemon. I think my favorite so far is still uh, Hard Gold and Soul Silver's uh, champion music. And then I, I, I think with uh, Gen 6, X and Y, I honestly don't... I'm trying not to have like a strong opinion about it because like it's been just so long with uh, since I played X and Y. Like it's kind of hard for me to remember like most of the Elite Four members. Like I just remember uh, Deanthea and I don't re really remember like her team in particular. Uh, she might might be like my least favorite champion, but again, like that might change just because, uh, just based on playing the game over again. Like, I honestly do not remember a any of her party, so like I can't really form a decisive opinion on it, other than like I should replay the game again. And then uh, the professor. Uh, for uh, Sun and Moon, again, really good. Like I like that the uh, you get a champion who is a, a freaking Pokemon professor. Like I really like that. Now was uh, I think his name is uh, Kukui, uh, Professor Kukui, uh, something like that. 
It's been a while since I played uh, that game too. And I think he was the uh, the champion in uh, I think Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon, and How was the champion in uh, Sun and Moon, if I remember correctly. Well, both of them was uh, both of them were uh, interesting characters at least. Like, I really need to catch up on these Pokemon games. It's been a while since uh, I last played them. And then, like, again, I haven't played uh, any of the Switch games like uh, Sword and Shield or uh, Scarlet and Violet. I will get to those eventually. Like, those ones will be uh, first playthroughs. Shut up in battle. Uh, we'll fight this guy, and then we'll uh, we'll search the grass again. All right, let's uh, see the patch of grass here. Let's cut it. There might not be anything here though, because I think uh, these routes kind of just have the same amount of Pokemon. But uh, we'll check. Oh, never mind. We have a ditto. <laughs> okay, let's switch to, uh, Maddie. And then let's, uh, switch here. Ya yeah, boy. Thunder Wave. Now, I don't think a double kick will heal, but then again, I've been wrong before. <laughs> so I'm going to switch to a uh, Swine Fu. So we'll just uh, do Rage. Oh, that was close. <laughs> okay, now I think we can uh, catch it. <laughs> I have a name for it. I have a name for it. Hopefully it, uh... It fits. Imp and putty. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so we got Ditto. Nice. Alright, so one more level. And then let's check our uh, power points. Okay, uh, we're still good. Okay, that's Route 15. I'm so glad we evolved to the uh, Charizard. Because I was not going to survive the, uh, the self building with uh, Charmeleon. And then uh, Dragna almost died too at 3 HP, and that was terrifying. I did not want to lose my starter. It just kind of sucks because uh, we won't be able to get like a full team of uh, Meowths while we're doing our training. Just to uh, make things go faster. Unless I capture a Persian. I think that's in the... Uh, I think you could do that. You can catch a, uh, a Persian. It's not in the Pokedex.
But uh, I would have to check again. Like the Nuzlocke rules. I still can't believe uh, that Macho uh, Machoke took us out. Took out Mr. Beaky. I'm still sad about that. Mr. Beaky was my pal. But uh, I'll see Mr. Beaky again in uh, Final Fantasy XIV. That's not all bad. Rain Dance, nice. Uh, I'm gonna go to the Pokemon Center and heal. Like, I literally have nothing left. <laughs> We were right in uh, Fuchsia City. Okay, let's head back. Uh, that's fishing rod. Uh, let's re-register the bicycle. Uh, we still have like four more fights to go, which I don't mind. I will say this is probably my first Nuzlocke, and it's probably the most bad luck I've ever had with status effects since I've ever played Pokemon. Like honestly, like 90, 80 percent of the time I'm constantly inflicted with poison or paralysis or frozen. Like, the game knows that I'm playing a Nuzlocke, and it wants to make me suffer so much. And I don't have a, uh, Ice Heal. But... We have these. Okay, we're done with uh, trainers. So uh, we'll go back to the Pokemon Center and heal. And then we'll uh, check out the uh, Safari Zone. So I think the uh, the rule for the Safari Zone is uh, catch one Pokemon in each area. Now I don't. Uh, I didn't say anything about uh, if they run away, but let's uh, sign in. Okay. I'm going to uh, pause and uh, look this up because I think it's one encounter, even if they run away. So I'm going to stop recording and then I'm going to look up uh, what what's up. So the, the rules are pretty flexible in terms of the Safari Zone. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to catch one Pokemon from each area. Even if the Pokemon runs away, I'm going to catch at least one Pokemon from each area. And there's like four areas. So if, even if they run away, well, uh, I'll catch it again. Because like, they don't really state anything. You could make whatever rules you want for the uh, Safari Zone. Like I've read that other people would uh, catch as many Pokemon as you like, but you would only pick one Pokemon and then release the rest. But uh, let me know uh, what you do in terms of the uh, Safari Zone. Okay. So let's try to catch uh, this. And then if it runs away, we'll... Uh... Okay. There's uh, our first catch. I'm catching a lot of uh, female Pokemon.
let's see. Um, let omelet. Um, I think this will fit. <laughs> I think it'll fit. Do. Um, let do fromage. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. So we're done with that area. So this area. Uh, Nidoran. We do not have a Nidoran. How dare you. Another leaf stone for uh, our non existent uh, grass Pokemon. Sunny day, that's pretty cool. Will I get lucky? Will I get lucky? I want to cry. I want to cry so badly. Like, can you just imagine if I caught that? I have never caught that Pokemon. At all. Okay, we'll try this one. For this area, uh, we'll call you Nibbles. Because Tiny Nidoran are so cute. You are Nibbles. Restore, nice. Okay, so we've caught something here. We caught the eggs. I could probably, uh, use an executor. Okay, this is a new area. This is area three. We don't have a Paris, so let's see. Throw a rock. This thing is not running away. Uh, let's try another rock. Two, three. Okay. Got a Paris. Uh, we'll call you... 
I am a bitch. <laughs> the poor thing has a four times weakness. A double weakness to a uh, fire. Like, it's literal charcoal. Like, that thing will not survive an ember. Which is the, the sad thing. I'm surprised I haven't run into a shiny Pokemon yet. Okay, we do get Steel Wing. I am excited though, because I could potentially use an exit. Oh, now you show up. Throw a rock. Yeah, that's what I thought. Because we could potentially use a, uh, a Needle King, Needle Queen, and an Exeggutor in our party. So if uh, our Sand Sandy dies, then we could use a uh, Needle Queen as our backup. The first person to reach the secret house. Although I made a campaign on our grand opening, I was getting worried no one would win our grand our grandpires. Congratulations, you've won. There is the uh, surf HM. Okay, I'm gonna teach this to. Uh, hey I'm gonna teach it to. Hey ya. Oh, it's not in our party. They're not in our party. I will teach that to uh, the Staryu. So unfortunately, we don't have uh, the Surf... Uh, the permission to use uh, the Surf badge. Or the badge to use Surf just yet. It's Rhyhorn. I look like a shiny for a, a minute. <laughs> Because the Rhyhorn sprite kind of looked a bit reddish. So it kind of looked like a shiny Pokemon, but uh... This is the uh, the fourth area, the area we were in. Okay, I don't know what that does. Okay, so let's see what uh, Pokemon we can get here. Okay, how many steps do we have? Oops. Okay, we have four steps. I think we could do this and get an encounter. Alright, we have a Nidoran. Okay, nice. Okay, that's our fourth encounter, our fourth and final encounter. Okay, a male Nidoran. Call you rascal. Like a little rascal. Alright, nice. Okay, we're done with the Safari Zone. Did you catch your fair share? Come again. Okay, that was fun. Let's uh, retune our party, and then I think uh, we're done. Oh, there is a move tutor here as well. Yeah, they added that to uh, this uh, remake. Okay, let's see our Pokemon. We got Omelette du Fromage, Nibbles, Charcoal, and Rascal. But let's get Staryu back in our party.
All right. So we want to teach Staryu uh, Surf. Hey I love that name so much. <laughs> Okay, so it's Calm Nature, so I think uh, that's a, a special attack benefit nature. Okay, so let's save here. Alright then, uh, we are done for tonight. And I want to wish you all... I want to thank you all for watching, for following, uh, for lurking, uh, for commenting in chat. Uh, for watching the stream on Twitch, uh, for watching the VOD later on, and for watching on YouTube. We'll take on the uh, Fuchsia Gem, and then we'll go uh, fight Sabrina. Because I, uh, I think we're good enough level to uh, take uh, two badges. And then, uh, yeah, I will be leveling up uh, the Staryu in the party to maybe like 35, and then I'll evolve uh, Staryu into Starmie when the stream... Uh, begins in our next uh, in the next video. So again, I want to wish you all a wonderful good night, a wonderful weekend, and I will see you all uh, next time. Uh, take care, everyone. Have a good night. Bye.